going on? My name's Justin and you're checking out another tutorial from Modern Mixing. So today's tip is going to be fairly quick, hopefully no more than five minutes. So sit tight and let's get this underway. So the topic that I want to talk about today is using some sort of volume automation coming out of the course and into the verse. Now, um, you know, I know there's some people out there who are probably already doing this, but I thought I'd, you know, sort of bring some attention to it because I don't think it's being done often enough. And what happens is that the second verse or even the bridge will sometimes suffer because of that. So the concept is pretty simple. It's basically when you're coming out of the course and going into a second verse or a third verse or even a bridge, anything similar to that, and you go from a course that's high energy like it is in this particular track, and then you go into a verse that's low energy, then the verse vocal as far as loudness and as far as energy, it needs to fit um, the levels of the verse but the problem is the course is you know that much more intense so you kind of have this crossroad where you're coming from high energy to low energy and then the vocal will get lost in there in the transition at least for the first couple of phrases so um, a solution to that is as you're coming out of the course let me bring up the volume automation here all you want to do is just bump up the first couple of words or phrases uh, going into the verse so that what it can do is it can level match intensity as it's coming out of the course and then as it goes into the verse you bring back down the volume so now you're you're matching the level um, or you're matching the energy of the verse I should say um, so that's it it's it's really really super simple but again I just wanted to sort of bring attention to this because it is something that I, I tend to have to do a lot especially in particular songs like I said where the course is very high energy and the verse is not so um, again, for, for engineers out there who are still in the learning stages or who maybe have some experience but um, have never really done anything like this before, this is something that you're going to come into a lot uh, when you start uh, working on a lot more records. And I think that you should at least have this in your tool set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the automation and I'll just quickly go from the, the course to the verse so that you can hear it. And then uh, I'll turn it back on and then you'll hear the difference. You should notice a difference. Actually, let's just turn this off. Okay, so let's check it out. So you should be able to hear that that vocal really, really got lost in there. Now let me turn this back on and let's see. So if I did that properly, and hopefully I did, then what is going to happen is your ear is just going to catch that beginning of that phrase. It's not going to notice any volume changes, or hopefully it's not going to notice any because you don't want the listener to notice what you're doing. And then it's really just there to sort of that your, your, your ear can catch it and grab onto it and then start following it into the verse. And that's really what you want. And again, hopefully your, your automation moves are such that the person listening won't notice, but they will feel that verse a little bit more. They'll get more into it or they get more involved with it or, um, you know, any other word that you can think of to add some sort of emotion to the record. So that's it. Like I said, really, really simple concept, a simple technique, but this is something that can really make a big difference at the end of the day, at least for the listening experience to the to the person who's uh, actually listening to the record. So that's it. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed that, and I will see you on the next tutorial. Didn't I